So I get asked this question a lot. How do I install Tor on Kali Linux? So let me show you how. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to show you guys how to install and use Tor browser on Kali Linux. Now, I always get a lot of questions about Kali Linux, especially on my Kali uh, videos or Parrot OS videos. And one of the major questions that I get asked is, how do I get Tor installed on Kali? And it's very simple to do. And in case you need some help, I just wanted to go down and make this video so you can refer back to it. And it's a walk you guys through two different ways to get it installed. I'll show you guys how to install it from the command line. And I'll also show you guys how to install it using the downloaded package from the website. And the reason I get this question a whole lot because Kali Linux, for some reason, doesn't include Tor as a default application, which I think it should. Uh, so... This question doesn't have to get answered, but hey, it's content, so I'll go on and uh, make a video showing you guys how to actually do it. So let's go on and hop over to my virtual machine so I can walk you guys through the process. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, cool. So I'm in my virtual machine. This is a copy of Kali Linux uh, 22.04, which is the latest version of Kali Linux. So you can download this, and install it. You know, it comes with this wallpaper for people that may ask in the comments. Where did you get that little wallpaper from? It actually comes with this version of Kali Linux, which is the latest version. Now, if you guys didn't know, Kali Linux is based on Debian. And so it uses the apt package manager, which is very simple. So the first way I want to show you guys how to get it installed is via the command line. And it's super simple. Like I said in the beginning, it's, it's very simple. This is actually simpler then downloading it and installing it from the website so let me show you guys how to do it and and this is the way i recommend people do it that way it's installed directly from the repository for kali linux you don't have to um you'll get the updates based on their repository uh it may be slightly behind uh but most of the time they get the updates out real quick for tour because it could cause potential security risks and all that stuff so they want to get that out you know as quick as possible as far as the updates to the tour browser and this is based on what i've seen now first thing let's go down and open up the terminal and i'll make it a little bigger so you guys can see it and zoom in let's see zoom in i'll actually make it a little bigger so you guys can kind of see what i'm doing all right, cool. So the first thing you want to do is update your system. So uh, you want to run sudo apt updates. And this is mainly just updating the repositories. I'm not going to uh, run the upgrade process because I'm not sure if it's any, you know, updates on the system. But sometimes the updates on Kali Linux are long, depending on um, when you installed it as well as how long since the last time you upgraded your system and i don't remember when i i know i installed it not that long ago see yeah i don't want to run through 30 packages right now so we can avoid that but you still need to refresh the repositories in order to install something properly so let's go on run sudo apt install and this is the command to install tor so i'm gonna type t-o-r and i'm gonna tab it out that way it can show you all the um, applications that have Tor in it. So that's what we're looking for right there. This is why I did it that way. So you guys can see the list and you can see what I'm selecting. So it's Tor Browser Dash Launcher. Now they do have the Tor, you know, application as well. That'll allow it to run as a service and you can run all your traffic through Tor on the system. But we just want the Tor Browser so we can run just what we, you know, um, 
look for it in the tour browser do tour and not everything on the system now that made the tour one that may be beneficial for you know someone that just want to create a box where they only use the tour network and you can set up proxies and all that stuff using that you know what i'm saying but you could do that with the browser as well but let's go on there and install a browser uh so tour browser launcher let's go through and get that installed and this is basically it like i said i'm not <laughs> it's it's not that difficult to install it from the command line i know a lot of people you know they kind of look at the command line like oh man this is a little difficult but it's not that difficult once you understand what you're doing and how to run the commands but it's it's a basic pseudo apt install well pseudo apt update to refresh the repositories and then pseudo apt install tour browser you know tour browser launcher on your system all right cool so the install is complete and it's multiple multiple ways to open it up you can go up here to the start menu you can search tour and you can find a tour browser but i'm gonna run it from the command line so you guys can see that but all you gotta do is type tour browser and i'm gonna tab it out tour browser dash launcher press enter that'll you know it'll make sure that the the browser is up to date and everything and then it'll it'll download the tour browser for the first time verify the signature you know all that good stuff uh, and get it installed on your system and you can just open it up and it'll launch it as you go through it so boom there we go so we got the tour browser installed via the command line so this is kind of like the simplest way to do it you know what i'm saying we could have went up there and just hit start uh tour browser that way but whatever so in order to connect to the tour network because right now you can use this thing as a regular browser but you want to connect to tour so the way to connect the tour is just by clicking this button that says connect and right here there is an option for you to turn on where it automatically connects you know every time you open up the browser so you select that check box and every time you open up tour you know from here on out it will automatically connect to tour but right now it's set to where you have to connect to it so we can just hit connect it's got this nice little bar up here at the top show you how far along it is with the process and boom we are connected to tour now right here is just uh setting your default language you can close that out uh, but that'll pop up the first time or whatever so yeah right now we are on the tour network and just to check it just to show you guys how to check it in case you know you need to check it but they have some options down here under settings you can go into settings you can go down connection and as you can see we're connected to the tour network right here it says connected and then you can also test your internet connection and boom we are online and we are also connected to the tour network and then also uh you can select the checkbox here to where it automatically connects to tour every single time you open up the checkbox so this is those settings right there and they have other basic settings i won't go through them all but this is essentially you can make up some make some changes to it however you want to you know they got like searches down here but the default i believe is duck duck go uh but they do have other searches but i would recommend you use any of that or modify that just use duck duck go but let's go down and close these settings and let's just go to a website or something but we are actually going through the tour network and let's just type youtube and search that on DuckDuckGo and just go to youtube just show you guys we're connected but as you can see it looks as though we are in romania so that let that also lets you know you know you're going through the tour network right there and just so you guys can get a better understanding of um the tour network let's go up into settings again and if we go back under here under connections and I just wanted to show you guys this right here. This is a good explanation of the tour browser. Yeah, and let me go back to settings so you can see what I did. But right here it said under connections, tour browser routes your traffic over the tour network run by thousands of volunteers around the world. But if you click the learn more, that'll open up this page right here. This breaks down how tour works. So if you need information on how it actually works, this is a good way to find out. And this is an awesome demonstration. I've seen everybody share, you know, when they're, um, trying to explain how the tour network works and essentially your system makes a connection to one node two node three nodes and they are all encrypted uh, that's why these keys are different colors so that shows the encryptions uh keys and it's decrypted as it go along 
uh so it looks as though it's coming from here to your request is coming from here and then when your request uh is sent back it goes through the same pathway and it's encrypted 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 and then you decrypt it you know what i'm saying so that's essentially how it works it's like three layers that's why they call it a, a the onion router that's what tor stands for the onion router all right, so I'm kind of over talking. Let's go ahead on and close the Tor browser. And let me show you guys how to remove it. And it's essentially the exact same way. Uh, sudo apt install. Instead of install, you just put remove. And that will uninstall it for us. So let's go ahead on and quickly uninstall it because I want to show you guys how to get it from the website right fast. So uh, that's done. I closed out the terminal. Let's open up the browser right fast and head over to actually let's let's just go up here and type tour browser and press enter that'll search it right now the default is you know google on firefox that's on, installed on here and boom all you gotta do is to go to tourproject.org downloads it's gonna pull up the downloads page what you want to do is download for linux or if you're using mac or if you're using windows or android uh but i'm gonna show you guys on linux and let's just click download for linux and it's going to download that package and this is a simple process as well uh, so let's open up that folder uh and uh this is downloads yeah and that's the downloads directory and let's go on and extract it here and we can just extract it here uh i might move it yeah let me move the directory i'll move the directory i'll put it on the desktop or something that's that's normally what i typically do i'll just drop it on my desktop and let me drop that folder on the desktop once it's fully extracted because sometimes it takes a little while uh that's why i was looking retorted but uh let's go to and close it and boom there we go tour browser so all you gotta do is open up that directory and let's close this directory we won't need it no more but all you gotta do is right click on this right here uh and click execute and it won't execute it'll basically ask you if you want to make it executable so bam there you go untrusted application launcher um and all you had to do is hit launch anyway and you can mark it as executable i would recommend you guys hit mark executable that way you can just run it you know next time and it won't pop up with this so hit mark executable and then it'll go through and open up the tour browser so there you go very simple and then it works the exact same way as when you download it it via the command line you know it'll connect to the tour network super simple and boom we are on tour and let's go look on duck duck go again let's search youtube and let's see we should have a new identity because uh, each time you connect the tour it'll create a different identity um wonder why i didn't show where we are um uh, let's type it up here right fast let's go to let's uh type facebook this time boom let's see if it brings up i oh, won't doesn't really show so but a cool way to you know change your identity you can click this hit new identity and basically what it's going to do is restart tour and that will basically reset your identity so boom good to go let's try it again so we can see what actually comes up as the region ah uh, germany okay uh, maybe DuckDuckGo couldn't figure out your location or the location of my last identity but yeah it's right now i'm going through germany uh well that's one of the hops that's the last hop you know what i'm saying the exit node but that's pretty much it if you don't want to have tour installed on the system anymore all you gotta do is delete that folder you know and you won't have it on your system anymore now that's all for today's video on how to install and use the tour browser on kali linux i hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you have any questions you know comments feel free to leave them down in the comments below and i'll definitely do my best to answer all your questions also if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this so thanks for watching and of course keep it techie